find the length of side C if gamma equals 65 degrees, side A is 150 meters, and side B is 175 meters. So this is a rough sketch of a triangle that has those um, measurements. It's not to scale. This is just a general triangle with these labels on here. We also have the law of cosines. And notice here that you've got A squared, the side squared, equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine of the opposite angle. And that's how all of these work here, right? A is opposite uh, angle alpha. B, side B is, is opposite angle beta. And side C is opposite angle gamma. Okay, for this problem, we are talking about a gamma and C. So I'll leave those underlined parts in there. And we're going to be using that last equation. So plugging this stuff in, C is what we don't know. C squared equals uh, 150 squared, that's A squared, plus 175 squared minus 2 times 150 times 175 times the cosine of gamma 65 degrees cosine of the angle that is opposite the side that we're looking for. Uh, punching all of this stuff in there, just the, in the interest of your time, I'll jump right to it. C squared equals 30,937.54 and, and so on. It, I rounded there. Take the square root of each side and C is approximately equal to 176 meters. So there's one example of the law of cosines where the law of sines would not work there because you don't have uh, another angle. You need to know, you need to know uh, another angle for to, to find another side with uh, the law of sines. But you could use the law of sines to complete the rest of this triangle. Now the second one says find the measure of angle alpha if you know all of the other three sides. So if uh, A is 12 inches, B is 15 inches, and C is 20 inches. Well, in this example, where we are trying to find alpha, right here, opposite side length A, we're going to use this equation, this first equation, because we want to find alpha. So let's plug in what we do know. That's A is 12 inches, so 12 squared equals b squared, which is um, 15 inches, so 15 squared plus c squared, 20 squared, minus 2 times b, which is 15, times c, which is 20, times the cosine of alpha. Okay, now getting right to this, we have 144 equals 225 plus 400 minus 600. I'll write that down real quick. 144 equals 225 plus 400 minus 600 cosine of alpha. Subtract the 225 and 400 from each side. And you get negative 481 equals negative 600 cosine alpha. Now divide each side by negative 600, and you get 0 0.8017 approximately equals cosine of alpha. And I'm going to bring this right up here. And I'll just change colors just because I'm moving this and I will say then that alpha is the inverse cosine so we're saying cosine of what angle is 0 0.8017 and the way you find that is saying alpha is the inverse cosine of that number that's the way the the inverse cosine function works 
It gives you an angle if you are given a value. So then in the end, alpha is approximately equal to 36.7 degrees. So there's a couple of examples, one trying to find a side length, the other trying to find an angle measurement using the law of cosines.